Hello everyone, this is Thomas from Lumitrix and I'm going to show you today how to take care about your brand new Lumitrix T2 series. So what are you going to do today? Uh, we are going to uh, replace the air filter, clean the lens and replace the lamp itself. And what are we going to need today? We're going to need Accu screwdriver, bit holder, three bits, one is Torx number 20 and uh, Phillips number one and Phillips number two. 7mm socket with this kind of string, uh, washing liquid for the lenses, screw glue, two cloths, one for shining the lens and one for the glue, lamp and new air filter. So first I'm going to show you how to replace the air filter. We've got the air filter handle over here, so I'm going to loosen this bolt over here and pull the handle out of the projector. Place it on the table, unlock the rack and open it like this. Just replace the filter for the new one. Closing the rack and locking it this way. I'm sure that both locks on both sides are locked properly. And then just put the air filter in the projector again and tighten this bolt over here just with fingers, it's enough. Second thing to do is to clean the lens. I'm not going to show you how to clean it. I'm just going to tell you that you will need the cleaning liquid and shining cloth and to do it uh, with the same way as you clean your glasses or camera lens. Finally, I'm going to show you how to replace the lamp. So first, you're gonna need this seven millimeter socket on the string and Accu screwdriver. And you need to uh, loosen these four nuts in the front side and the same four nuts on the back side of the projector over here. So, I recommend you to replace the air filter again because of access to this nut over here. It will make things easier. So replacing the filter and unscrewing these nuts on the front side. careful and do not lose all these washers. Under each nut there is a washer. So I make sure that all the washers are out of these bolts. And we call this part of roof as a roof number one. And replacing the roof goes this way. I'm going to pull the screws out of those holes first, very carefully. On the other side too. And then I'm going to replace the roof like this. Uh, we call this part roof number two and it's held by 10 screws over here and over here. Five on the front side and five off on the back side. We're gonna need uh, a bit Torx number 20 and unscrew these bolts. We also have washers under each of these bolts. All the washers are used to ground uh, the whole case properly. To replace this part we call uh, roof number two, it's important to start from the side where, where there is no power cord. So we're going to start from this side and we're going to push the roof downwards and that side like this, you know. I'm pushing it down and pulling this part over here out 
and it's going to unlock. And the same here. So the lamp is situated over here in the hole. And important things are these bolts over here, these little two pins, the handle, and at this place there the connector is, okay? So first what I'm gonna do is loosen these two bolts and don't worry you not going to lose them because they will stay at the lamp. In case that these bolts here are silver as we have it here, uh, we are using uh, bit Phillips number one, but in case that these bolts are black, we are using uh, bit Phillips number two. Therefore, we already prepared both of these bits. So bolts are loosened. So I'm going to take the lamp with this handle and simply pull it off. As I mentioned before, we are now going to take care about these pins over here and the connector down here. So when I'm placing the new lamp in, I'm trying to find the position of the connector first. So I feel it's, it's, it's in, and now I'm, I'm taking care about these pins. So pins are fine. I'm going to push to the connector and fasten these bolts. As we can see, these bolts are black now of the new lamp. So I'm going to switch this bit for Philips number two and fasten these bolts again. And that's it. Okay, so the lamp is already replaced and we are, move forward, we are moving forward to uh, closing the Lumitrix again. First thing to do before that is to pull this uh, uh, power, power cable off this air intake hollow, like this. And then you can just take the roof tool and place it on the projector from the side where the cable is this time and to click like this on the, on the other side. Then we are uh, fastening these 10 bolts over here and we are going to use screw lock for this, okay? Because we are not going to fasten all the bolts properly so therefore we have to use screw lock. A little bit of it is enough. Make sure that you always are using uh, washers on the, on the heads of these bolts because uh, the whole case needs to be grounded all the time when used outdoors, okay? Very important, always use these washers. As you can see, I'm fastening these two bolts and these two bolts very, very hard because uh, this actually holds these um, these hangs, but the rest of the bolts over here and this one doesn't need to be fastened strongly. Okay, so that was uh, roof two, and now we are moving forward to the roof one. It's the same way as we were replacing the roof, like start from one side and continue by all the bolts to the other. Make sure all the bolts, all the bolts are in those holes for them. Like all the bolts fits in all those holes.
Okay, so all bolts are in. And now we are just fastening these nuts over here and from the front side too. First, I recommend just to fix them with fingers to all the bolts there. Don't forget about the washers I've mentioned before. Okay, uh, do, do, not, do not fasten these nuts too much, but just uh, that much that uh, the top of the bolt is leveled with the top of the nut, okay? Not more, that's enough. The last thing after uh, uh, closing the Lumitrix is just put the air filter back in and fasten these bolts, these bolts just with fingers. So today you've learned how to replace uh, air filter, how to replace lamp and how, how to clean the lens. So that's it guys, my name is Thomas and see you next time.